We are back with another review today. We got some action figures we're gonna be checking out. We got some a two pack of figures in here, and we got something we picked up off Big Dog Dave. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's check out what we got here today. Today we're gonna be checking out Iceman from the Marvel 80 Years line. This is a Hasbro figure, which is meant to be completely retro to the 90s. Releases of these. Now you have seen me do the Wolverine and the Silver Samurai in one video because that is Japanese Wolverine or Japanese styled Wolverine. And we did the Cyclops. So now we got the Iceman to check out. Storm and Dazzle are the other two in the set as well, or this wave, I should say. But what about 80 years Iceman? And we got a box here from Amazon. Let's see what we got in the box. Um, is there a seam on this? I guess there is. Huh. All right. I'll cut to the right of it because it's a very thin box. And I believe this is the two pack. So if not, we're going to be making another video. <laughs> All right, let's get this lifted up and split. All right, now you can see why I cut a little bit off the tape line because it doesn't actually penetrate through all the cardboard and cut whatever is directly underneath this. Nothing worse than having box lines on a box you don't want to have box lines on. So, what did we get here today from Amazon? We got a two-pack Thor and Venomized Hulk, which you have seen um, me do the Venomized Hulk before, but this one came with the mask. And we got the Thor figure here as well. We got Iron Man in the other two-pack, and this one has the Venomized Hulk. These are huge figures. We're talking 10-inch figures here um, with this really dope Venomized Hulk mask, which is super cool. So let's check this out. I actually do have this one. I actually do have this Venomized Hulk. So they didn't change this one up, at least for this release. These are more so younger kids' toys, but I do like the Venomized Hulk riders. As you can see, there's a young kid right there with the Venomized Hulk mask. Let's check that out, actually, right side up. He's got the Venomized Hulk mask. He is going full-on Venomized Hulk mode with Thor and Hulk. So I guess in this rendition, we got Thor versus Venomized Hulk because he has been infected with the symbiote. So, yeah, that's cool. Look at that. They printed it actually on the lip, too, which is neat. Let's slide this out of the box. If it wants to come out. Hmm. I don't think anything's binding up on it. Oh, it's taped down. Look at that, taped down here on the edge. Never seen that before, but we got taped down here on the edge. Is that all that's taped down? There's another one right here. Huh? Not really easy for kids to take this out. I guess parents take it out for them anyway nowadays. There we go. We got some instructions. We'll get rid of that. Look at that. So we got Thor over here on the left, Venomized Hulk here on the right. Uh, yeah, that's exactly the same one as the other one that I have over there. So they just repacked him in something else, which is totally fine. The Maximum Venom line is cool, and the fact that they even um, did this pack right here with the Venomized Hulk, I didn't see them do this with any other ones um, from this wave. So it looks like Venomized Hulk is. It's not only popular by me, it's popular by other people. Other people must like Venomized Hulk because they're making things with it. So they're making things with the character, so that's pretty cool. Let's put this around and we'll cut the rest of the mask out. There we go. Let's check out the mask. The mask is actually quite heavy duty. Quite heavy duty. It's not cheap plastic. Well, it is cheap plastic, but it's not thin cheap plastic. How about that? Um, the band on here is actually quite good keep on your head and I guess you could make it larger for a smaller adult face but yeah this isn't gonna fit on mine but it's definitely a cool mask nonetheless this would probably go great on a nice 10 inch pop or an 18 inch pop you know what I mean put the venomized Hulk mask on it but it's got this little like vinyl rubberized um, little like I guess suction cup area right here for your face to keep it seated on there properly so I guess like your face doesn't actually touch this part so that's pretty cool definitely dig that that mask that is a sick mask right there venomized hulk check that out wow pretty dope that's pretty dope <laughs> that is definitely an awesome mask i think we're good on this right now we could probably put this away until we get into Iceman. man so let's do oh i was wrong 
immediately wrong. Immediately wrong. Those are those little, I thought these were the metal braided ones. We'll need to cut him out as well. On these. Look at that. There is Venomized Hulk. Now, I did find out that there's some kind of a cannon or something, some kind of a weapon that you can plug into the back here. And these um, pillars here that are lined up along the bottom, those are kind of like a key that allows the machine or the little device to acknowledge what character it is. So there's Venomized Hulk right there, which you have seen us do on the channel. Venomized Hulk before. There he is. He's just chilling. Let's do Thor next. Let's see what we got for Thor. So we had Iron Man as well. So I guess we pretty much had almost a, the full set of the base Avengers. Just need Cap. The first Avenger. All right, here we go. So we have Thor's hammer. There is Mjolnir right there. Check that out. It's actually kind of plain. It doesn't have any of the text on the side, which is nice. And this is actually comic Thor. So we're not actually dealing with a... Uh, MCU Thor, which is nice. It's always nice when they do classic or even modern comic characters and they just kind of don't just adapt the MCU as every character, you know? So let's see what we got here. We got Thor, classic Thor. Does not bend really any, well, I guess he does have articulation on his shoulders, but they don't really bend out very far, let's just say that. And he does have one hand, which is dedicated to hold his hammer, which I guess you slide it in because it doesn't look like his fingers really bend. Huh. Yeah. You gotta kind of jam it in there, but... There is his hammer right there. Him holding his hammer. Mjolnir right there. Check out his one arm has a fist. The wrists do swivel. Like I said, classic comic story there. It almost looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Just pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, this is, looks like a more of a modern rendition, but it is a comic rendition of Thor, which is which is cool. So, yeah, you can tell by the helmet and the suit's a little bit more updated, modern, the boots especially. So, it looks a little skinny too, to be honest with you. He's not as bulky as I guess you would expect Thor to be. Kind of like Iron Man. Iron Man was a little bit slender too. It wasn't very bulky, but you got Venomized Hulk, which takes the whole package, <laughs> which is funny. Um, Pretty cool two-pack right here. Pretty cool two-pack. So like I said, we only really got this for, well, the extra Hulk and the Venomized Hulk mask, which is super dope. We'll put that right there. We'll let Hulk hold on to him for now. Pull him off to the side over here. And like I said, we got Comic Thor right there, which is, you know, all right. It's not the best figure. Next, let's check out what we got here. We're talking about articulation. Hasbro's all right with articulation. I do like McFarlane a lot. But Hasbro makes some good ones as well. So we're going to cut this guy out of the box like we do every action figure so that we can store them properly. Because I like to slide them back in the trays and put the trays back in the pack. And then store them with the board back. One, we don't lose anything in the pack of the figure. And two, it also allows us to keep it everything situated we don't lose any accessories let me see i'm gonna cut the top a little bit but yeah i'm slicing it right along that lip at the bottom right so we don't we're not cutting into the board we're not making a mess with the board the board the backer board doesn't have a bunch of torn cardboard with the artwork partially ripped off it's just a cleaner way to remove the figures that are done on these blister pack backer boards. Again, I just slide Iceman back in there and you can store perfectly fine. You can store them nice. Honestly, these fit great in comic boxes. Some of these uh, action figures, this one's a little wide, but some of the smaller ones from the 90s do fit great. The Toy Biz and such, those Playmates, those fit really great in comic boxes. You can line them up real nice. So let's see what we got here. Okay, it's a newer rendition of a, of a retro toy. So there is his ice sheet that he slides in on. And here is Iceman. Classic 
classic articulation on the Hasbro figure right here. It looks like he actually has a little bit more of a elbow elbow spin there because you almost see like it almost comes into his chest, kind of concaves his chest a little bit. But it does kind of remind me more like a Silver Surfer. But yeah, again, Iceman, you know, Iceman, he is silver. Um, although the ice sheet that he slides in on has more of a blue tinge, as you can see right here. If he was actually this color, it would probably be a little more authentic. He looks very much like a Silver Surfer, minus the X belt. And you don't, even, you don't even need to do head swap. I mean, it basically looks like a Silver Surfer, so. But other than that, again, articulation, you got those spins, high thigh and high calf right there for base everything. We got the kneecap there to cover the joint, which gets you more knee articulation. You could do a full bend like that for some monstrous posability. Hasbro does do some good articulation um, most of the time. And here is the ankle joint, which it seems a little loose. I imagine he's probably not going to stand up very well by himself. Um, let's see. Yeah, you got to really get that ankle. I mean, for him to stand upright, I mean, his calves all jacked up. You really got to get, for these uh, Hasbro figures to stand up properly, you really got to get that articulation on the ankle done right because there's no, there's not like a clicking system. It's more of like a, um, it's like a fluid joint, if you would. So if it's not 100% perfect, like at least with the McFarlane ones, there's a click and you know once it clicks in, it's it's locked in and that's the, that's the positioning it needs for the ankle to basically stand upright. These Hasbro ones are a little bit wonky, so... You know, like I said, for him to stand up properly, I have to kind of turn his foot out a little bit to widen the base, which kind of jacks up the calf right there. But whatever. Uh, back and ab joints, of course, modern figures have all these, so you can do an ab bend like that. And again, articulation on the wrist is the same as the ankle, but a little bit how you would expect it for a wrist. The ankle's a little bit too fluid. It's something that he needs to kind of stand up on. So let's do this. Let's put him on his base. And let's see how he stands. He's the only one, I believe, that I have opened up so far that actually has a base. And maybe that's why they did that for his narrow, his narrow stance. But, yeah, I mean, he could pretty much go one way, which is him basically standing, standing upwards on this ice sheet. And then you kind of compose him standing on there as well, which isn't very easy to do. If he wasn't in that peg, he'd be all over the damn place. Because, I mean, this foot's not even resting on the ice sheet. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So the ankles on the Hasbro figures, have never, I've never been a fan of them. And you kind of have to contort the figures in all kinds of weird ways to make the figure even work. Um, if you want it to stand up properly or buy a figure stand, something like that. But neither here nor there. This is Iceman from the Marvel 80 Years line. A pretty dope figure. Going to look sick next to Cyclops, Wolverine, and Silver Samurai. So uh, we got that whole wave over there going we got two more left i believe to this wave which is dazzler and storm storm looks like she's got some kind of soft goods right here although it could be a vinyl it could be a vinyl cape i'm not sure and then dazzler has these suspended animations here in front of her from the dazzling so pretty cool on that this wave has been pretty freaking cool and appreciate dave for sending over this Iceman. it's got like i said it's gonna be a great figure for the collection uh, that Wolverine from Japan is pretty awesome with the Silver Samurai. He's a big, bulky dude um, in regards to figures. But they kind of did these too slender right here. Cyclops is a little slender too, so. Let's let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the Iceman from the Marvel 80 Years line? What do you think of Thor, Comic Thor? The, uh, what is this called? Mighty titan hero series what do you think of the titan hero series thor again for a younger audience because the articulation isn't quite to there it's basically just got a bend and the arms kind of have a, a shoulder articulation but it's very light which is normal because you don't really want it going up too high to make it look weird you know what i mean kind of like you know weep. you know what i'm saying so we got a venomized hulk the mask right there which is pretty cool and we have Venomized Hulk, just kind of taking up the whole screen. You know what I'm saying? So I want you to let me know down in the comments below, what was your favorite figure from this particular review right here on unboxing? And what do you think of these two different types of figures? The Hasbro Marvel 80 Years line and the Titan Hero series from Hasbro as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. I spoke up for that. And have a great rest of your day.